The Secret Sky Garden. Sunny liked the old airport car park. It hadn't been used for years and it was greyer than a Monday sky. But Funny loved being there, hearing the planes take off and touch down while the blue rooftop stretched for miles like a calm, still sea. She came there most Saturdays, sometimes with her Kestrel Warrior stunt kite, sometimes with her recorder. But something was missing. Definitely. She learnt to play the sounds around, notes from the tannoy in the terminal, the high and low whines of planes coming into land, and the music of the bells in the city square. But something was missing. Definitely. So she hatched a plan. Each Saturday, Funny lugged a huge sack of soil cleaned a carpet of litter, swept the drift of squished cans and other left behinds. After three months of Saturdays, she gently nuzzled seeds into the soil that now completely covered the rooftop car park. It was Zoo who first noticed, coming into land on his flight home from Dad's. Wow! He grinned bigger than in three months. I've got to go there he thought. A garden there in the air, full of flowers, bright like an emperor's blanket, nodding and waving. Hello. Funny watered her flowers, flew her fierce kite, played a new song she learned from a tiny red radio she found in the stairwell. But something was still missing. Definitely. That feeling, like an ache, a whole, not a full up satisfied feeling you get when you're happy and there's a warm buzz of home and someone laughing in the other room. And that's when Zoo arrived, grinning shyly. He told her how amazing her car park garden looked from way up there. It's awesome. I saw it and thought, I must be dreaming. And it turns out they both flew kites. Zoo's was shaped like a shield. He also played a silver harmonica and could soon play all the sounds around. The notes from the tannoy, the descending hum, the chiming bells. And as the sky darkens, when you're coming into land, you might notice some bright sparks. Maybe fairy lights, maybe fireworks. And if you come closer, you might hear a whole city of sounds being played by two friends, their kites crisscrossing in the secret sky garden. <laughs>